Okay, so ARC players, we have some big news to talk about today. There seems to be some very positive news in the ARC community, but there also seems to be some worrying news. So we're going to be talking about both of those things in today's video. So I hope you guys do enjoy. If you do, as always, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new to the channel. And if you do want to pick yourself up an ARC Survival Ascended server to go and play with your friends on the new Scorched Earth DLC map, link will always be in in the description down below. Let's get in with the video and talk about what's been going on. So if you didn't see, we're going to start with the good news because why not? I just, I feel like it, it, I just want to start with some positivity. So the first thing is what came out in the community crunch. Um, Wildcard, uh, the ARC devs announced that on June 3rd, the center will be releasing back to normal with the Shastasaurus. Now the Shastasaurus, if you didn't know, was actually meant to be, it, it the, pretty much they mixed up the characters, uh, the, the new creatures, which meant that we weren't sure whether the Shastasaurus was still going to drop with the center and it was going to drop with another map and then we were like how could the Shastasaurus not drop with the center because it's probably the best map for like an underwater giant creature um, and uh, then we also found out that this new um, center DLC is going to be double the size of the island which has it always been double the size of the island I can't actually remember like uh, when I think back to it um I don't, I, I feel like maybe they'll be making it a little bit bigger, but I, I can't remember whether it was always that or not, but the reason it's got to be big anyway is because it's got to fit the Shastasaurus new creature into the map because it's going to be a giant like underwater titan like thing. Um, I was actually really hyped for this one. A lot of people were saying, oh, an under, uh, underwater creatures I don't care about, but I've always said from early days in Ark that I think the island, the underwater side of things in Ark kind of needs, it's always needed a bit of a TLC anyway, so I'm really excited for it. Um, and also they say in the meantime you'll find us split up tackling everything to make Ark Survival Ascended its best. Some of us will be squashing Scorched Earth bugs, others are diving into the world of the upcoming free aberration expansion, but the main force is powering through to bring you the epicness of the center on June 3rd. Um, like I said to you guys, uh, they also said we, we can't spoil all the fun just yet, but just know that even more exciting developments are cooking for the June 3rd update. Your Ark Adventures are about to get a whole lot wilder. So I want them to just completely shock us like I, you know, I want, I want to, I want to literally see a proper and crazy difference with Aberration and the center and just put us on a whole new journey. Because I personally have loved Scorch Earth on single player, had no problems. I've had a really fun time and generally I've had no complaints. And yes, a lot of you are probably like, wow, Dom, there's been some positive videos. And like I've said, I try to make my content as real as possible. I know you'll get a lot of YouTubers and a lot of uh, like people that will be like always sort of supporting everything and not being 100% real when they're talking about something. Um, and, uh, you know, people a lot, of, a lot of the time said I used to do that. But generally... If I'm hyped about something, I'm going to be going crazy about it. If I generally don't agree with something, I'm going to be honest because I want this channel to be the most like, I want it to be a down to earth channel. And I'm not saying it's always been that in the past, I'll admit. Um, but, you know, getting older and stuff, I want this channel to be a proper channel. We, me and you guys can just talk with each other and be honest. I don't, I'm not going to make every video like, this is the best thing Ark's ever done, ever. And yeah, I've done that in the past. But I, you know, I have to be honest that I personally have had a lot of fun with Scorched Earth. And I want to keep seeing that happen and keep seeing the game be um, successful because it deserves it. The game itself deserves the success for what an amazing sort of fan base and fun um that we have but anyway um so moving on from uh, the good news um i wanted so last night uh, quite late last night i found a video from a great youtuber lieutenant buzz lightbeer now i am a massive fan of helldivers so i've been watching a lot of his content on helldivers and uh, he dropped a video called arc 2 just got some wild news um and i was like okay what's this gonna be <laughs> i was like here we go again um but um i also saw bam um the youtuber bam said so so if I'm understanding this correctly, Arc 2 will be the death of Arc in general then. Am I seeing this right? And pretty much what um, Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer found out is in some like snail games information, they say following the launch date of Arc Survival Ascended, we will pay a monthly license of 2 million, which will be terminated upon the release of Arc 2. So pretty much what they're saying is um, like... 
that it, it by what a lot of people have been worried about is that the game was it, what it was saying is well, as soon as Ark Two releases, they'll pull the plug on Ark Survival Ascended. But I really don't believe that's going to happen. Now, the only reason why people are worried is because Ark Switch got completely left and never really got the love it deserved after a couple of maps. Um, but the Ark Switch version has obviously been worked on again, and you know it's been been pretty good. I was actually a member uh, working with um, uh, with the Ark Switch and and I know they've had a lot of in, um, sort of improvements, um, but I can't see Ark being such that, you know, how big Ark is in the news. Like, it, as much as sometimes it's quiet and it has less players, it's such a massive game in gaming history. Um, so, you know, if a new, when Ark 2 comes out, they're going to have crazy amounts of players. Um, they've still got a lot of players playing Ascended at the moment. Again, now they've released Scorched Earth and it's a free weekend. So, um, I don't think it will be. I know. I know. I, I'm not. I'm, I'm slightly worried reading this news. Them saying they're going to stop paying this two million um, license a month to Ascended when Arc Two comes out. But I really don't believe um, this means that the game's going to be gone. Like I, all this work the team are putting in, it putting in now. I can't see that them just wanting to waste all that time they're putting into Ascended. Like, you, you know, you've got a team right now working on Aberration. You've got a team right now that's working on the center to release it. And you've got a team right now working on the game in general, like for Scorched Earth Bug. So I don't see this being a big problem. I do feel like it would be good now that this news has come out there to just sort of maybe explain it. I saw Bam actually said, can someone in the studio explain this and tagged everyone? I don't think Bam, as, as of now, has got a response. Um, GP, another ARC YouTuber, said, I don't think it means what everyone think it means. Pretty sure it doesn't mean the end of Assa. There's meant to be new story DLCs released alongside ARC 2. Exactly. So... I, I, I don't, um, uh, you know, I, I, Bam said some explaining needs to be addressed and uh, GP was like, good luck with that. Yeah, because it's, uh, you, I don't think you'll get any type of explanation on this, but I wouldn't look into it too much, guys, if I'm honest with you. Like, I would, don't think I'd worry. Um, you know, they're going to they're, they're gonna be releasing paid DLCs for Ark Survival Ascended as well. And there's no way they could put themselves in such a mess because Ark 2 is such a different game to Survival Ascended because it's meant to be like a Dark Souls type of thing. There's no way they'll just pull the plug on what is their, you know, is what is their money maker. You know, the, the reason people play Ark and are so addicted to Ark is because of what type of game it is and the way it is now. And there, there is just no way they would just get rid of that. So I wouldn't worry, guys. I just wanted to say my part on that. But anyway, um, that is pretty much everything you guys need to know um, with your ARC news today. Um, we've got a really exciting map coming and it's not going to be long at all. It's about a month and a bit and we've got Scorched Earth to enjoy till then. And if ARC just keep it releasing content like every sort of, you know, release DLCs every other two months, I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. Um, and it would be better if they could get it out every month, but obviously I don't want them to rush it. I'd rather have a perfectly uh, made DLC, so... Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, go grab yourself a server if you want to. Link will be in the description. And I'll catch you in my next video very soon. See you guys then.